Experts say a solar flare detected on the sun Thursday was the strongest flare since the beginning of this solar cycle in 2020. It unleashed a fast-moving storm of X-ray energy that hit the Earth about eight minutes after the eruption. It's the type of energy that can disrupt certain types of radio communications. Uh, nothing related to the cellular network problem was going on the other day. I think we made that quite clear. That was not associated with any of the flare activity. Sean Dahl with the Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder says it's unusual for solar flares to release energy waves in the frequencies that operate cell phones. Thursday's flare may have briefly impacted ham radios and some transoceanic airplane communications. This powerful solar flare will also not bring the aurora borealis to Colorado. Dahl says it's a different type of eruption called a coronal mass ejection or CME that brings the geomagnetic energy that causes the northern lights. A CME often accompanies a strong solar flare like this one, just not this time. Um, that's not unusual with solar flares. But with flares of this intensity, it was a little strange, but these were also very impulsive, meaning very quick flares. They only lasted some minutes. He also says the area where the flare happened on the sun was not facing directly towards the Earth. So if there was a CME with this flare, it may have still not been strong enough to see the northern lights here. That location certainly could have impacted Earth. It wouldn't have been maybe a direct hit, but it could have been what we call a glancing blow, meaning a partial hit here at Earth. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.